Hurricane Hannah was the first Atlantic hurricane to make landfall in Texas in the month of July since Dolly in 2008. The eighth named storm and first hurricane of the 2020 Atlantic hurricane season, Hannah developed from a vigorous tropical wave originating near Hispaniola. This disturbance dropped heavy rain over parts of Hispaniola, Cuba, and Florida. The wave gradually became more organized and developed into a tropical depression in the central portion of the Gulf of Mexico. The depression strengthened into a tropical storm on July 24, setting a new record for earliest eighth named storm in the basin, getting its name 10 calendar days before the previous record holder, Tropical Storm Harvey of 2005. Hannah steadily intensified as it drifted toward southern Texas, becoming the season's first hurricane early on July 25 before quickly strengthening and making landfall later in the day. Hannah made landfall at 2200 Coordinated Universal Time later that day as a high-end Category 1 hurricane, with maximum sustained winds of 90 miles per hour, 150 kilometers per hour, and a minimum central pressure of 973 millibars, HPA, 28.73 in Hg. Along the way it dumped up to 18 inches of rain in isolated areas in southern Texas and Mexico. The storm resulted in 50,000-plus people losing power. In addition, Hurricane Hannah caused minor damages to well-built structures while causing serious damages to smaller structures and downing power lines. Hannah weakened quickly as it moved inland and turned west-southwest, eventually dissipating over Mexico on July 27. Hannah was the first hurricane to make landfall in Texas since Hurricane Harvey in 2017. In Florida, Hannah killed one person due to rip currents. Hannah's outer bands also caused rounds of thunderstorms across parts of the northern Gulf Coast. In Texas, where the storm made landfall, extensive property damage was reported in the Rio Grande Valley especially in Port Mansfield. The brunt of the damage was located south of the city of Corpus Christi due to the eye taking a more southward path than originally forecast. Corpus Christi experienced storm surge flooding and tropical storm force winds, while areas to the south of the city experienced hurricane force sustained winds. In Mexico, severe flooding caused by Hannah killed three people.